Well, my name is Leslie Davidson. I live in Revelstoke, British Columbia. I'm a mother and a grandmother, a retired teacher. I have always been a writer ever since I was a little girl, but I haven't always been a published author. That began when I was 65, actually almost on the very day of my 65th birthday. My first book for children in the Red Canoe was published by Orca. Since then, it has come out in paperback and also in a wonderful French language translation. And when I met Lincoln, he was driving an orange Volkswagen van with a red canoe on top, and I think I fell in love with the van and the canoe before I fell in love with the man. So I wrote this book on a camping trip with just Lincoln and I out in the Chilcotin um, area of BC imagining the time when we would have grandchildren and he would be taking them out in the canoe and showing them all the cool things that, that we, had, we had seen over our years with our own kids. Um, but he got sick with a form of dementia that meant um, he didn't get to do that. But the grandfather in the book does. It was for a couple of weeks on the BC bestseller list, I think on the strength of the little bookstore in Grand Forks, BC that sold over 200 copies. It's the beauty of being a um, longtime resident of a small town. Everybody knew me, everybody knew Lincoln, who was quite a, an iconic character in, in that community, and so they wanted the book. Orca has really good editors and very kind people that make it comfortable to take risks and, and to try things and very grateful. One thing I didn't realize when I first started submitting was that authors have nothing to do with the choice of illustrators. So that was um, a little scary with the first book to kind of, I had very clear pictures in my head of what this book should look like. and to know that I had no say in that. I was really concerned, but oh my goodness, when I saw those illustrations, I was absolutely blown away, far better than anything I could ever imagine. And I can say exactly the same thing for The Sun is a Shine. Slavka's pictures are, are so beautiful. I didn't start submitting to publishers until I was retired. I actually sat down to write the great Canadian children's novel, um, which collected a huge stack of rejections and still sits in a big fat file in my filing cabinet. I write because the stories are there. They, they're inside and they want to be on the page, I think. And I want to honor them and do, do the best job for the people that inhabit my imagination. Oh, I love it when I get feedback from kids. It was lovely when pre-COVID days when I was in classrooms and um, reading, reading my book to kids and just reading any book to children that, that touches them or to which they respond is, is a delight. It was on a rugged day in a classroom, full moon and pre-Halloween pull out a couple of good books and watch the magic happen. And, and if my books can do that, then I would be so proud. Take the risk. It's, um, failure is a beautiful thing. We, we learn from our failures. We get benefit from rejection. It forces us into self-examination and toughens us up a little bit in, in ways that are are tough but not hardening, I think, if that makes sense. Be open to the possibilities and um, gracious with the success and brave through the failures and just keep doing what you are called to do.